everyone and welcome back to the breakdown today I'm gonna to be teaching you how to download and install dynamic lights in Minecraft 1.17.1 we're gonna be going over every single step of getting dynamic lights from downloading it to installing it to even kind of showing you how it's used in game it's gonna be pretty cool this is a really really cool setup and it's how you can get dynamic lights without having Optifine and dynamic lights in Optifine has been buggy for me for a very long time so nevertheless this shouldn't be buggy it should work without any issues first of all though we do have a message from our sponsor which is Apex Minecraft hosting go to the first link down below the breakdown to XYZ slash Apex this is your very own 24 hour DDoS protected Minecraft server. We actually don't just Apex so much, so we have our own server, play at our breakdowncraft.com on them. So if you want to start your very own Minecraft server, check out Apex at the first link down below the breakdown to XYC slash Apex to get your server up and running. Nevertheless, let's go ahead and jump right on into getting dynamic lights. The first thing you want to do is go to the second link down below. That's going to take you here. This is the official dynamic lights download page. And when you're on this page, you want to come over here to the right hand sidebar and scroll down until you see the Minecraft 1.17 section. Under that, you'll see a lamb and dynamic lights. Go ahead and click on the orange download button to the right of that. And the download will begin after a few seconds. Once this download does begin, we will need to keep or save the file. So there we go. Download in the bottom left. We do have Lamb Dynamic Lights. We can go ahead and keep that in the bottom left. All of Mozilla Firefox, you will need to save it in the center of your screen. We aren't done downloading, though. We still need to download the Fabric API. This is going to be the third link down below. And this is basically just a required mod for Dynamic Lights to work. Once you're on this page, go ahead and click on the yellow Download Fabric API link, and it will take you to the Fabric API download page. From here, you want to come over here to the right-hand side and scroll down until you see Minecraft 1.0. 17. Under that, we have 1.17.1 Fabric API. Click the orange download button next to that. And just like with Dynamic Lights, we need to wait a few seconds for this download to begin, and we'll need to keep or save the file. Keep in the bottom left of Google Chrome. Save on a Mozilla Firefox in the center of your screen. And there's one more thing we need to download, and that's going to be the Fabric installer, which you can find also, you guessed it, linked in the description down below. Once you go down there, you will come here, where you'll be able to click on the download installer universal slash dot jar. When you click on that, it's going to download pretty much right away. And in the bottom left, you will need to of course, keep the file. And finally, we're done downloading. We will go ahead and minimize our browser here. And on our desktop, we have the Fabric API, we have the Fabric Installer, and the Dynamic Lights mod. If these aren't on your desktop, they're going to be found in your downloads folder. To find that, click the little Windows icons in the top left of my screen, probably in the bottom left of your screen. But click on that little Windows icon in the top bottom left of your screen. Go ahead and type in Downloads. You have this Downloads file folder here. And in here, we'll find Dynamic Lights, the Fabric API, and the Fabric Installer. Drag these to your desktop just for ease of use. Now let's go ahead and start off with the Fabric Installer. Now don't worry if you're logos or file icons are different from mine. I'm going to show you how to fix that in a second, but first, let's see if we can open up Fabric Installer. So right-click on the Fabric Installer, click on Open With, click on Java, and click OK. But Nick, I don't have Java, or I have Java and it's not working. Well, in that case, what you want to do is come here. This is our in-depth guide on how to download and install Java for Minecraft mods. And this did recently change in 1.17, so make sure if you've been able to install mods in the past, you can't. Now, this might be why. Go run Java and, uh, well, not run Java, but install this new version of Java here. Once you've done that, you should be able to open up the Fabric Installer, but your file icons and things like that may still look weird. And if that is the case, you can fix that with the jar fix. It's going to take all the .jar files on your computer and link them back to Java, making them all work beautifully. We're going to go ahead and minimize our browser. We can right-click on the Fabric Installer, click on Open With, click on Java, and click OK. This is going to open up the mod system install for Fabric, where we just want to make sure 1.17.1 is selected. Click on install, go through, and then oh, we'll go ahead and successfully install Fabric Loader for 1.17.1. Go ahead and click OK. Close out of that. The only reason that might not successfully install is if you've not played 1.17.1 without any mods. If that's the case, go play Minecraft 1.17.1 without any mods. Come back here, and this will work. We can now go ahead and close out of the Fabric installer and get the Dynamic Lights and Fabric API mods installed. To do this, you want to come to the top left of my screen, probably in the bottom of your screen, that little Windows icon again. This time, though, we're going to type in run, are you in? We'll have this run app here. Go ahead and open up that run app. And then in this run app, we want to go ahead and type percent sign app data percent sign percent app data percent exactly like that. And then hit enter. That's then going to open up our roaming folder where we'll have a dot Minecraft folder. Open up that dot Minecraft folder and you should have a mods folder. But Nick, there's no mods folder in here. It, it, this is alphabetic order. There's no mods folder. What do we do? Well, in that case, we're going to create one because I don't have one either. So let's go ahead. Just right click right here and then click new and then folder, and then go ahead and title this mods. M-O-D-S, all over case, all exactly like that. You have to title this mods, right like so. Open up your new mods folder, and then you want to drag and drop the dynamic lights mod and the fabric API into this mods folder, right like so. Now we're going to go ahead and open up Minecraft. But we don't just want to open up any Minecraft. We want to make sure we're opening up Minecraft with Fabric. So here we are in the Minecraft launcher. We want to go ahead and make sure Fabric Loader 1.17.1 is selected. As you can see here, it is. If that's the case, you can go ahead and click Play. But if you don't have the Fabric Installer or Fabric Loader selected automatically here for 1.17.1, what you want to do is come up here to the Installations tab. In this tab, you want to make sure Modded is checked over here on the right-hand side. As you can see, I uncheck it and Fabric disappears. Check it. There's Fabric. 
fabric again. We can click play, click play again. However, for some of you, you still want to have the fabric loader 1.17.1. If that's the case, we're going to go ahead and click on the new installation here. Then we can title this out whatever you want, but I'm going to title it play.breakdowncraft.com. Well, I'm going to name it that because that is our own incredible 1.17.1 grief protected Minecraft survival server. It is truly the best Minecraft server out there. You will love it if you want the best Minecraft survival experience in the world. Come play with us on playdownbreakdowncraft.com. We've recently had some awesome updates, so if you're not playing on Breakdowncraft, come play with us. Playdownbreakdowncraft.com is the IP. Now we're going to go ahead and click on the version drop down box here, and then we're going to find a release fabric loader and then 1.17.1 at the end. Right here it is for me. Onto the top, you may have to scroll down to find yours. Go ahead and select that. Then we want to go ahead and change our resolution. You don't have to do that. I'm just doing that so we can see once we get in game. The most important part for you is this fabric loader here. Finally, click create in the bottom right. Then we have this new playdownbreakdowncraft.com profile, but most importantly, it says fabric loader and then 1.17.1. One, click play on that, click you understand you're playing modern Minecraft, and then click play again. Now Minecraft 1.17.1 is going to open up with dynamic lights installed. It's that simple and that easy. I'm going to go ahead and do a very, very quick jump cut and I will meet you on the Minecraft main menu to show off breakdowncraft.com with dynamic lights installed. So here we are on the Minecraft main menu. We can go ahead and transition to the full screen Minecraft here and then Click on multiplayer. Now, by the main menu, there's no mods button with Fabric. You have to just jump in game to see if your mods work. So we're going to jump on playdownbreakdowncraft.com, the best Minecraft server in the multiverse, and we should be in medieval survival here. Now, unfortunately, it's kind of hard to tell if a dynamic light works well whenever you have, uh, you know, just, just torches around like this. However, if we go ahead and go to, I believe this is my, my optic end, so I can go ahead one quick second. There we go. We now magically have 64 torches. And if we go down into the dungeons, I believe we'll be able to see this. If not, I can just RTP and uh, go to a random location. It is nighttime after all. Uh, we should be able to see, yes, you see that shadow disappearing? That's dynamic lights at work. You see, boom, remove that. It immediately becomes darker here. And that's just proof that dynamic lights is working. Looking good, looking good. We can see this happening all the way down through here into the middle part of the dungeon here. Normally it's pretty dark, boom, suddenly it's brighter again. You see the darkness there, boom, comes back right like so. Um, yeah, I think this is definitely proof that dynamic lights is in fact working. It's looking good, I love it. Just for one more bigger proof, we'll go ahead and randomly teleport here, and then we can go ahead and boom, light this entire area up with a torch in our hand. Goes away, light goes away, bring it back out, torch comes back, looking good. Thank you all so, so much for watching. If you did enjoy this video, give it a thumbs up. Come play this on playdownbreakdowncraft.com. We're currently in Medieval Survival, 117.1 Grief Protect Survival. You will absolutely love it. Come check it out. If you've not played on Breakdowncraft yet, come play on it. I promise you'll love it. And if you have, go give it a shot. Nevertheless, my name is Nick. This has been The Breakdown. Thank you so, so much for watching, and I am out. Peace.